Welcome back to the Armors Fix. My name is Kyle. If you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because you'll find out cool stuff like you're going to hear today. There is a picture release of a gun I'm personally extremely excited about. SIG, I've been running their 365 for a while now, and some of you already know I extended my grip to where it would hold just the 12-round magazines and fit in my hand better. What's exciting about today is something I heard whispers about several months ago was a SIG that would have an extended grip and an extended slide, the P365 XL. If you take a look here, you'll see a standard 365 frame. This one right here is my extended frame, so if you put them together, you'll see quite a bit of difference in length. The nice thing about that is when you're using that extended magazine, you'll get some flex in your hand under recoil, and it actually adds to the recoil because you can't control it as well. And the nice thing about the full extended grip is your entire hand can fit on the gun. So this is really, really exciting to me because, again, I made one of these uh, using one of the sleeves off of one of the 12-round magazines. As you can see here, this is a 12-round magazine where the sleeve is gone. So then I can take this mag and it's a flush fit down at the bottom. We are going to see a flush fit magazine that's 12 rounds. If you were to compare this to a 320, you'll see the grip length is coming very, very close to that 320 in size but still a much, much smaller package. This gun has been absolutely incredible. With the extended grip, I can sit here and take this gun out to 40 yards and make positive hits on steel targets all day long. It blows my mind how accurate it is, how many rounds it holds, and how tight of a package this thing is. I mean, you can tuck this thing anywhere. Phenomenal, phenomenal gun. Now, some of the updates we're gonna see from the new 365 XL, it looks like it is going to be optics ready. In the photo, you can see the sights can be driven out and then they can drop in an optic. SIG also has a new Romeo Zero, which is a very micro, micro RDS. So a little tiny red dot you can throw on there. And I'm assuming this is already cut for what's going to be the Romeo Zero. The other interesting thing is SIG has their light. You'll see Streamlight has a light as well that's designed to go into this gun. I haven't seen the Streamlight yet in person. I've had a little bit of time with the SIG light and it's decent. I think I like the controls of the Streamlight a little bit better. In the photo they released, you can also see a flat trigger, which is pretty exciting. So they're kind of following along a path that you're seeing from their X carry line from the 320X carries. The biggest things we're going to see, the longer grip where we have more control and we'll run the bigger magazines always. Due to the larger slide, we're going to have a longer barrel and we're going to have a longer sight radius, which should make the gun a little bit more accurate. I love the heck out of this idea. I'm super excited. I want to see a frame that we could also put on the standard 365 slide, which could be as simple as getting the new 365 XL frame and chopping one. These SIG frames are super, super cheap. If they do that with the XLs, I'll be sure to pick one up and do that. So then I can have kind of what people are doing with the Glocks with the 43 and a 48. And if you have those two guns, you can actually have a 43, 43X and a 48. It's a really cool concept. And between these two guns, I'm hoping to do the exact same thing with the SIG. Nothing has been verified from SIG yet. There's been no official announcement from SIG. So technically, this is still in a hearsay speculation stage. But if you look at the photo, it looks very, very promising. I also reached out to my friends at Crossbreed, and they informed me they'd be having holsters out in no time, just like this Reckoning right here, which has been great for concealment. I've used it for appendix carry. I actually switched out to their, their clips to the plastic clips instead of the metal ones. I find them to be a little bit more comfortable and easier to manipulate. So really cool holster, good gear from those guys. Those of you who have known me for years, I have asked for this specific gun that they're putting out and basically kind of like what Glock has done as well. This next package is basically the size I want. I still would love to see a classic P-Series done in the same way where it's shrunken down smaller, but with a micro double stacked magazine, kind of like what we're seeing with the 365. So I carried a SIG 239 for years, loved the gun, hated the mag capacity. There's a big reason why I quit carrying that gun and it came down 100% to mag capacity. Since this has been an overall gun design I've been wanting for years, I'm so excited that it's finally coming out and I'm super stoked that SIG is one of the brands who's willing to bring it to the table first. So SIG, thank you. Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to be able to go hands-on with this gun as soon as it's available. So be sure to like and subscribe to follow up for future news on this gun and many, many more. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time.